Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont and I operate a WordPress uh, store using the WooCommerce platform. And here's the situation. I have the store, but I'm gonna, about to go on vacation and I want to make it possible for the store to stop taking orders. And there's a couple ways you can do this, but the way that I manage this process now when I go on vacation and I want to turn off my store is I use a plugin on WordPress. I'm going to talk about that right now. Okay, so first of all, in order to activate this particular feature, I don't think it's included in the stock version of WooCommerce, so you need a plugin or an extension to make it work. Here's the one that I use. Go to Plugins, uh, Add New, and I think it's called Woo Store Vacation. Yeah, here it is. Okay. I actually have it installed already. That's why it, it's showing these particular messages. Um, let's ignore that for a while. But basically, this is the one you want. You can see it has lots, it it's, has a pretty good reviews. It's compatible with the most recent version of WordPress. Um, and if you want to change the settings to actually set up a vacation, here's how you do it. So in your WooCommerce settings, uh, once you install that particular plugin, you should see it listed below your WooCommerce menu, store vacation. So click on that. Okay, so there's a couple different settings right here. The ones that are most important to you, first of all, to set vacation mode. Want to go on store by closing my store publicly, and you want to disable purchases so people won't be able to buy anything. And the reason why you would do this is if you're going on vacation, you know, let's say you're going camping in the woods for a week, you won't have access to email, you won't have access to a, a nearby post office where you can ship something out, and you won't have your inventory either. So you want to really want to disable these things. What I usually do is I check these off, I set the date for the particular uh, vacation, you can see this is something I did last year. Then you can create a message. And what I do is I actually say, shop in 30 minutes on Amazon, because Amazon is open all the time, and it has stuff in, in stock. And then I have a URL. And what I say is our store is currently being maintained. In the meantime, all of our in 30 minutes guides and cheat sheets are available on Amazon. Let's see if it will work. Um, yeah, it's set up right now. And then I'll set it up to run for, let's say it's, I'm going on vacation for a little bit more than a week. And let's see if it will work. Save changes. I'm asking whether or not it will work because I had an issue with a PHP before, but it looks like it went through. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Here's my shop. Yeah, here we go. Our store is currently being maintained. In the meantime, all of our in 30 minutes guides and cheat sheets are available on Amazon. If you click on that, it will go to my Amazon storefront. For more information on how to get the most out of WooCommerce, Shopify, WordPress, many other services, including Amazon services such as Amazon Seller Central, Amazon KDP, my blog and my video channel on leanmedia.org have lots of great tips that you can use that will hopefully help you out uh, for the situation that you have. Uh, my name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.